Well, hi there, Heather. Hello there, guys. It is Kimber. Welcome back. I don't know why you're so close up, but it is what it is. I am, well, first of all, it is Thursday. Uh, no. <laughs> it isn't Thursday. It's Friday. Friday the 24th. I'm telling you, my days are all running together lately. Um, I don't have my glasses on because they are hurting the backs of my ears really, really, really bad. And not looking forward to it. Um, I'm getting ready to go into work. It is 6.45 p.m. and I kind of had a, had a same issue that I had the other day where I got off work and I was tired and I laid down and I didn't wake up till 5. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've had to eat today because I did eat this morning when I got off work. So let me go ahead and imprint that now for you. Okay, guys, it is 106, breaking my fast, first meal for today. Once this stuff is gone, I'm not buying any more of this because it is a trigger. But it's um, one serving of peanut butter, one serving of the sugar-free jelly, and two pieces of all the low-carb bread. I am going to go to a more cleaner keto, but I still have this food, and I don't believe in wasting, so I'm going to eat what I have, and then I will not buy any more when I go back to the store. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm almost finished with that peanut butter and stuff. And once it's gone, like I said, I'm not going to buy it anymore. Um, I think that it is really stalling me out a little bit. A lot bit, actually. But it's all right. Um, I'm going to eat what I got. But it'll be fine. So today, I uh, woke up at 5. And we have we always drink bottled water here because my husband doesn't like the, the flavor of the water that we pay for. And uh, we had been out of water and we didn't feel like going anywhere yesterday. Plus, with me sleeping until 6 o'clock, there really wasn't time for us to go and get anything before I had to go into work. So, um, we waited till today to go get water. And uh, he had bought those ribs the other night. I didn't show you guys those, but um, he bought those and wanted to make them tonight. And for me, with barbecue, I've always had to have coleslaw. I don't know what it is, but I love my mama's coleslaw with barbecue. It just tastes so good. And I didn't have any things to make it. So we went to the store to get water and to get, um, you know, all the things that we needed. And uh, the husband went in and I stayed in the car. And they're remodeling part of the store and putting in a pharmacy where usually the vegetables are. So when he went to go get it, he just grabbed, you know, without really... Um, giving it much thought because that's usually where the coleslaw mix is instead he grabbed a, a salad mix which is fine I mean it's no big deal um, so tonight we're gonna have those ribs and some green beans and I'm, I'll probably end up having a salad because I had the bag salad mix uh, these ribs are the st. Louis style baby back ribs and I've never made them before so I did look them up online to see how to make them correctly and it says it's about three to four hours in the oven at 285 degrees and then it'll cook them then after that you put your barbecue sauce on and turn it up on broil for uh, five to ten minutes no probably not ten minutes probably five minutes just to let the barbecue sauce caramelize so we're going to use the sweet baby rays no sugar added but i did go ahead and take those ribs and i didn't show you guys because it was messy i had to pull them out of the bag and I went ahead and wash all the blood and stuff off of them um, and i Seasoned with salt and pepper and some of that mesquite rub that I bought the other day from a previous video if you saw that and I uh, put it in my roaster pan stuck it back in the refrigerator because it's going to take three to four hours and I have to work for five hours so the husband's going to put it in around 8 30 and let it continue to cook because we do eat late so he's going to let it cook while I'm working and then when I get off I'll put the barbecue sauce on turn it up and then let it all get done and got a, a huge can of um, green beans I'm going to put in there with some bacon and some chopped onion and it's just going to be a yum oh but I've never made them before so this is going to be a first for me and um, yeah so we're going to see how those hold up and you know I know that you guys watch me and I appreciate it so much because you know sometimes I think you know what's the point of doing this but I want to be able to look back on it and in the years and stuff and be like yeah I did that <laughs> you know what I mean it sounds crazy but it's true and you all know a lot about me what brought me to keto why I am you know doing keto if you're new to my channel and you don't know me so sorry my name is Kimber 
I have been on keto for almost, well, it's been about three years now. Uh, in total, I have lost 75 pounds. I have gained some of that weight back, which if you watch the um, video I posted today, which was your yesterday, you'll see all about that. Um, but I came to keto because of an autoimmune disease and to lose weight, and it has been successful. But you all know why I have done what I've done. But tell me in the comments below, if you're keto, what brought you to keto? If you're not keto and you enjoy watching me, that's cool too. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you're from. Um, you know, if, if you're on keto, why or why did you start keto and where you're from? And if you're not on keto and you just enjoy watching me and my ramblings, that's perfect too. Just let me know where you're from so I can get to know you guys a little bit better. I know some of you guys do have your own uh, YouTube channels and I do watch you guys, so I appreciate that. Um, I, I enjoy our little family here that we have on YouTube. But uh, I just want to know more about you guys, and y'all listen to me, so I want to listen to you. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this now, because I do have to go to work, and I will show you guys my ribs, and I'm sorry that I did not close out yesterday's video. I was just so tired after I ate. I mean, I was out. I don't know why I'm so tired lately, but I just am beat tired. So I didn't close it out, but I will make sure to close out this one. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my ribs and my food for the evening and close it up so stay tuned i put my ring light up and all that stuff to do this and i am working but i have the most amazing husband in the world i was sitting here thinking man i am really hungry i ought to ask my husband to make me a a, a, a bologna and cheese sandwich because we have all that meat and stuff in there i'm trying to get rid of it and the bread and stuff so i ought to ask him to do that i was like no i don't want to bother him because he's already put my ribs in the oven and all that well the beautiful love comes walking in with a bologna and cheese sandwich. And I didn't even let him know that's what I wanted. He's so amazing. So great, but I'm going to eat this. It's um, 9.24. The ribs have been in for about an hour, and they are smelling the house up. I mean, you smelled them. And I'll show you guys those when I get off. But uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat this sandwich. He's amazing. He's so great. I, I hope that if... If you're a single person out there, I hope that you find the most special person ever in this world because you deserve it. There was a time I didn't think that I deserved it, but God knew better than I did. And I have an amazing husband, and I sure hope that if you are lonely, that you find your person. And if you don't want a person, that's fine. Be, you know, you can be just as happy by yourself as you can. But if you're someone like me who really wanted to be with someone and share their life with someone, give it time. God knows better than we do and don't force anything because when you have to force it, it never works. And it doesn't have to be hard. If you're in a relationship and it's hard work, it's, it's not the relationship for you. But anyway, I'll stop preaching about that. I'm going to eat my sandwich that my wonderful husband made for me. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. Dinner is served. Oh, these look so good. These are the St. Louis style pork ribs with the G... Uh, no, not GHUs. What is it? Sweet Baby Ray sugar-free. Yeah. So, these look so good. I'm so proud of them. I hope they taste as good as they look. I did make just a small salad on the side with just lettuce, tomato, cheese, ranch dressing, salt and pepper. And then also I'm having some green beans with bacon and some uh, toasted onion on there. The hubby, this is his big plate <laughs> of ribs and he has green beans as well. He didn't do no salad. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this here because I'm going to eat this and watch NCIS and then I'm going to like pass out. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.